According to the official handbook of rules and regulations, the 2015 63rd edition of the American Quarter Horse Association, talks about ranch riding and what they're looking for and some of the things that uh, you want your horse to be able to do. Ranch riding, the purpose of ranch riding horse should reflect the versatility, attitude, and movement of a working horse. The horse's performance should simulate a horse riding outside the confines of an arena and that of a working ranch horse. This class should show the horse's ability to work at a forward working speed while under control by the rider. Light contact should be rewarded and horse shall not be shown on a full drape of reins. The overall manners and responsiveness of the horse while performing the maneuver requirements and the horse's quality of movement are the primary considerations. Each horse will work individually performing both required and optional maneuvers and scored on the basis of 0 to 100 with 70 denoting an average performance. The required maneuvers will include the walk, trot, and lope both directions and the extended trot and extended lope at least one direction as well as stops and back. Three optional maneuvers may include a side pass, turns of 360 degrees or more, change of lead, simple or flying, walk, trot, or lope over poles, or some reasonable combination of maneuvers that would be reasonable for a ranch horse to perform. The maneuvers may be arranged in various combinations with final approval by the judge. The overall cadence and performance of the gates should be as those described in gates with an emphasis on forward movement, free flowing, and ground covering for all gates. Transitions should be performed where designated with smoothness and responsiveness. There is no time limit. Ranch riding apparel and equipment, there will be no hoof polish no braiding or banding of manes or tail extensions, no trimming inside ears, uh, that is discouraged. Trimming bridle path is allowed, also trimming of fetlocks or excessive long facial hair. Equipment with silver should not count over good working outfit. Silver on bridles and saddles is discouraged. It is suggested competitors use a breast collar and a rear cinch. In the penalties, a contestant shall be penalized each time the following occur. One point penalties, too slow per gate, over bridled, out of frame, break of gate at walk or jog for two strides or less. Three point penalties, break of gate at walk or jog for more than two strides, break of gate at lope, wrong lead or out of lead, draped reins, out of lead or cross cantering more than two strides when changing leads, trotting more than three strides when making a simple lead change, and severe disturbance of any obstacle. Five point penalties include blatant disobedience, kicking, biting, bucking, rearing, etc. for each refusal. A zero score will be illegal equipment including hoof black, braided or banded manes or tail extensions, willful abuse, major disobedience or schooling. No specific penalties will be incurred for nicks, hits on logs, but deductions may be made in the maneuver score. No specific penalties will be incurred for over and under spins, but deduction may be made in the maneuver score.